Hey guys, it's Jason McCompany with Redbeard Rebuilding. Uh, sorry I haven't been on here for a while. Uh, life is getting a little hectic with uh, baby number two coming along. And uh, uh, yeah, so we're trying to get things situated. And uh, my wife started a new job, might be getting a different job. It's been a bit of a mess. Um, but I'm going to attempt just to look at the camera because I'm over here. But I'm going to try this. Um, I have a design set up that I normally do differently, we'll call it that. Um, and this is my own personal javelin, so I'm just doing this a little on my own here on a specific design. But it's called the zombie. And if you've seen some pictures, it's pretty cool. Now I'm going to do my own unique version of this that is, it's not the same as my price list, because this one's going to cost a little differently. but. I'm doing this one more specifically for um, like the Javelin Project, Spearworks, MF Athletics. Uh, I'm putting their names on this thing so that way if it's more of an advertisement thing for me rather than you know putting a school name on it or just engraving it. So I'm going to attempt to take you on this ride if I can figure out how to set up the camera correctly. So this might be a couple day uh, situation. Uh, just because I'm doing this uh, in the morning here before I start work. So, um, let's see if we can get the camera figured out, and we're going to go from there. So, let's give it a whirl. Alright, so the only way I can really seem to figure this out is to oddly have you guys at an angle, maybe. Uh, there we go. You just have to look at the camera and the stand, but you get the javelin down there as well. Now, if you can tell already here, this is a tape mark. This tape, obviously, if you can tell, if you know what you're looking at, this is a heat mark. I took this, I have already taken the head off, so that way if I have to change anything with the balance, I can. Now, let's see, how far do you see? You see up to about here. Uh, sharpie, Sharpie, Sharpie. You see from this angle to about where my finger is. So we're gonna draw a line right there. So if I, oh, my wife is calling, hold on. All right, so we're back. And I, I have figured out that I can change my zoom around here a little bit more and you can see up to about there, give or take. So, and just so you know, this line is give or take the halfway points ish because I don't obviously I'm, I'm not putting this on the scale and I don't have a grip on it but it is the give or take the halfway point between grip and COG and then on the tail I've actually marked the uh, oops, excuse me, hiccup 150 millimeter millimeter and then the give or take halfway point between uh, the tail and COG but Basically, what you're going to see here is what I do with the zombie javelin, kinda. What normally happens is I paint it black, just like you see here. But unless somebody asks me to put their name in it or something like that, like I have done that before. But normally what I do is I take a good heavy grit sandpaper, like 36 or something like that. It's, I think that's what this is. This is 36. This is some heavy grit stuff. It's meant to dig in and tear stuff apart when you're sanding. Normally I take that and I go across the whole entire shaft. I, I make swirls, straight lines, you, you name it. I, I, I grind into the shaft, take out the black paint, and all you see underneath is just metal striping. Metal. I'm, I'm making gestures way off camera that you guys can't see, but that's what you see. And if you've seen pictures of the of that one before you understand what I'm talking about but since this is my javelin we get to be a little more special with it and I gotta remember I'm working from here that way so if I move myself forward give myself plenty of room because this one is gonna be a long one we're gonna put my hashtag on here Let's see, you guys can see my hand. I'm not stabbing my finger, I promise. So, you get to see this in action. So 
Hopefully you guys can't hear it because the scraping sound will begin on my nerves by the end of this. How well can you see my, hey, you can see it, alright, my little hashtag tic-tac-toe. So what we got here, we're going to go straight down the shaft, or at least as straight as I humanly can. Excuse the occasional worker coming through the shop. And what you do have to make sure is I've done this the first time I did this I messed up not necessarily what I'm doing right now but I took a knife to it like I'm doing now but I really engraved in it when I didn't have to and it makes things a lot worse it gets into the shaft and it causes problems when you go to cover it up or not cover it up but clear coat it so we're gonna do this and then I'll get halfway through the words and then I'll fast forward it for you so you're not just watching me do this for an hour. I think you guys can get the picture. First letters in there. I have done it before where I've spelled things wrong and I have to go back through and redo everything, which sucks. Uh oh, Mike's here. So after I go through a couple of words and names on here, uh, I will then go through and do a game design. We'll figure out what I'm going to do. But I want to see you guys know what I'm going to do with your business needs. I'm going to start with you. I'm going to get to know about it. 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 I'm going to get to know about it.
<laughs> Sorry, I forgot to press record. But that's what I'm working on currently. And so for those of you that don't know, uh, First Form is a brand of supplements that I use. Uh, where are the other one go? There it is. Uh, this is uh, some of the stuff that I'm using currently. Uh, but yeah, just want to let you guys know what First Form is. Uh, obviously, if you didn't know, somebody would be confused. So um, uh, just so you guys see here. Like I said, I put some marks on here before, but you guys might be able to see, might not. Um, this is generally about give or take where the grip's going to be. Obviously, I can't tell because I don't have a grip on it, but my picture. Um, so I have to kind of figure that out. Um, I try to do things on angles, but it doesn't really work all that well because after I start to re uh, turn the javelin, it just tends to straighten itself back out. So it's not the easiest. Um, I'm going to try to make this next one work, but it's going to be a long one. So I'm going to start way back here and see what we can do. Oh, uh, which way do I want to do this? Dum 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 dum. Oh, is it gonna move you? That's a moment. Where are my lines? Get back on top here. This is that line. There we go. Um, so what I've done was I switched it around. So the other ones, the hashtags were on one side. So I'm hurting this time the hashtag is on the opposite side and I'm working towards the tail. Um, this is where I think the grip might end, give or take. So we're going to be starting right about there. Okay, so this one's going to be a long one, so we're not going to make it too bold. Thank you. 
start up and tail, work our way forward. Obviously it needs dusted off and cleaned off. There's something in my way. There she is guys. Now we just gotta paint her. So stay, st stay tuned for the next video. Stay safe, throw far, take care of yourselves, take care of each other.